Morning guys, it is... Hello! <laughs> there she is, light of my life. Get off me, don't touch me. So it's our last full day today. Yeah, so... I'm a bit depressed this morning. Yeah, it's our last full day. We're going to go to Polpero today, which yes. is where we stayed for our honeymoon all those many moons ago. We're going to go there, spend the whole day there. I think we're going to try and get breakfast at the House of Props. House of Props, yes. Yes. And then basically it's just chilled day. We're just going to walk around, sit and look at the beautiful houses that we will never be able to afford. <laughs> Hopefully be able to go on the beach because the tide comes in quite far and it's... Yeah, I think it goes out at some point during the day, so I'm yeah. sure. I'm, I'm hoping to have a little paddle. Hoping, hoping, hoping. And yeah, just like have a wander around and uh, show you how nice the place is. then walk let's say a good 500 to 700 yards down the road it's not a it's not a hard walk and you get to look at all the houses that are just absolutely gorgeous this would be like my dream place to live there's a moose moose a moose like a little bush shelter and they do do trams that go up and down Polpero um, but obviously due to the current situations they weren't running but they are quite helpful. It's a shame they got rid of that dog thing, the water bottle thing down the bottom. I really liked that, I thought it was clever. About the, the latest rumour with him. That it's Neil Buchanan. Buchanan. I'll be honest though, if it was him, I would be made up. He's an awesome at Heart Attack. He's a metal dude. He's in a band. If he was Banks as well, that would be incredible. Breakfast. Yeah. Oh, it was a proper job. That was I've amazing. I've had to. I've had to redo my jeans. 
because I am not. <laughs> You've been given high scores quite a lot this time, but this was definitely a five out of five for me. What a breakfast! Like the, the black pudding is probably some of the best black pudding I, hope I you have can ever hear had. Us over the seagulls, they're being quite loud now. Yeah. So if you didn't hear us, five out of five for a breakfast because that was amazing. Some of the black pudding that I had was some of the best black pudding I've ever had in and my the life. Bread. You had two pieces of bread, a granary and a white, and they were that thick. Oh, lovely and thick. The sausage is amazing. Bacon was done perfectly. Everything was done perfectly. Good cup of tea as well. Mm -hmm. I give it noise. five out of five. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Oh, amazing. <laughs> so now we're gonna go have a wander around, aren't we? Yeah. Cause I need get this food to move down. <laughs> Someone got wet feet, didn't they? Water started coming in. <laughs> I got wet feet. That was not the paddle I wanted. Well, we'll go for a paddle later. stay there it is a holiday that I would love to stay there one day it's it's quite amazing to look at for our honeymoon. Yeah. It's called Harborside. Right outside Blue Peter. And it was the most gorgeous place I've ever stayed at. It really was nice, wasn't it? It was so nice. Had a little veranda as well. Yeah, so a little veranda so you just looked at the harbour all day. And I did try to have a look for when we came down now, but it was, it was just all booked up. But I would definitely go and stay there again. It was amazing. It was the best day ever. So as you can see, there is the Polperro Heritage Museum smuggling and fishing. We went there on our honeymoon. Um, it was a really nice little museum, actually. And there's such a rich history in Polperro of obviously smuggling, uh, along with many other Cornish towns absolutely rife with smuggling and you can imagine all these houses all around being operational hubs of all the dastardly deeds that were going on 
uh, behind the government's back of smuggling in all the, the spices and the teas and the and the rum and ah, oh, it would have been so exciting, wouldn't it? Seeing all those pirates coming in. This is our favourite place to come and sit in Polpero. Everyone, as you can see, usually sits by the beach, but if you come round the other side and you sit on the, the harbour wall, it is just so peaceful and quiet. And looking at the ocean, you think you're abroad. It was just what we needed, just so relaxing and calming for the mind. Ships rolling and I watch them roll away again. Lillian! <laughs> go up that way? Yeah, we'll go up and round by Nelson. Yep. wandering around the middle of Polpera where all the shops are and they've got so many lovely little boutiques and independent businesses and we picked up quite a lot of stuff from those shops uh, and as you can see there that's the Nelson pub and we went there again when we went on honeymoon and it was a really nice establishment we we felt a bit out of place it was quite posh you know me and Adam just rocking up but no it was really nice I strongly advise anyone going to Polpero to come to Michelle's. We couldn't book in this time round, she was fully booked, uh, but we went there when we went on our honeymoon and it was some of the best food me and Adam have ever had. We had a seafood pie um, and sticky toffee pudding for dessert and it was chef kiss.
no, on my jeans. <laughs> oh, on my jeans again. So, so we've got a little Kiki Baba Jeannie. Drinky pee. Bit of a cider, and the tide's gone out, so we're sitting on the beach. Mm -hmm. But we are now, once we've finished the pipe, gonna go on. Oh, my bucket. Yeah, boat trip. Boats and hopes. Yeah. <laughs> buildings in Polparo. That's what we call the net loft. That's where they used to make the nets and the crab pots etc. They also used to build wooden boats up there as big and bigger than this and when they were ready they used to launch them out through the far end of the building down into that gully on a high spring tide. And you can see pictures of the last one they launched in 1971 in the Harbour Museum or in the fish and chip shop to show what a palaver it all was. <laughs> and if you want what's going on over there with that lift system and everything not that interesting really unless you're a civil engineer in a big way. It's just a sewage pumping station. In actual fact you're supposed to struggle now to even see what I'm even talking about because they absolutely assured us they would blend in with the surroundings. Karen <laughs> and I were in a conservation area. All they actually did was put some dye in the concrete. That was the main selling point. <laughs> boat trip was an absolute legend. Uh, he came up with so many fun facts but he was really funny with it. We learned that Richard and Judy have a house up there, one of those nice big houses, and why the rocks are all different colours around here to do with obviously geological movements over thousands and millions of years. It was just really interesting and it was beautiful to be out on the sea.
looking into your soul. Yeah. I will eat your heart. where we sat in the morning on that little harbour wall. So we're walking up the other side of Polpero. Um, and it's not a, a too bad a walk. It's a bit of an incline, but if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, and especially to get up and see these views. As you can see down there, that is what they call a natural swimming pool. Didn't even know it was there. Didn't spot that the last time we were here. I wouldn't swim in it personally, it looks a bit scary to me. So as you saw when we went on the boat trip, the fishermen said that they used to launch boats out of there, off that rock. Could you imagine watching that? That would be a crazy sight. <laughs> this is their life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's up? <laughs> <Bilber. laughs> this is their life. It doesn't get better than this. <laughs> My family! Why did you just save me? My family! <laughs> it does not get much better than this. <laughs> So we've had a, a lovely little sit down. But we are both getting hungry. Little piggy, little piggy. Little piggy. So I'm going to try and go in at three pilchards. They don't book, so it's a case of you turn up and they'll give you a slot when they're available. So we'll give it a go, see what we can do. Duffo. <laughs> Isn't it just? A nice place to have tea. Jeez. Look at the absolute beast. Look at that for a fish pie. It makes smells and amazing. Nice, lovely word. Look at the chips. Mm. Looking forward to it. I'm excited. Let's do this. Put that. Put that on. It's gonna be messy. Oh my god. That was like the creamiest pie. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh. Yep. Oh. Mm. 
I'm not even sorry. Mm. That good burger. It is double Ooh. burger as well. Double duck. Brie. Yum yum yum. March in there. Mm mm. That. Mm. Mm. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Well, actually, I did that. That's too sweet. It just seems like in every review of this holiday, it's like, oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah, it's, either, it's, it's been four or five stars. <laughs> Honestly, like, the food was incredible. It was. That um, was the best pie I think I've ever had. Yeah, he had the fish pie, it had prawn. I think it had prawn, car crayfish, cod, haddock, loads of cheese and mash and like chive sauce and everything. It was rich, Red it was uh, creamy. White wine, white wine sauce. It just it had full of fishy flavour. It was absolutely amazing. I did the chip and it was really nice. And then you had a... I had the Cornish Brie burger. I know, not very exciting, is it? Um, but I had seafood yesterday and I had seafood on the first night. So I tried mm. their burger, absolutely delicious. Double burger, um, Cornish brie, and then there was a tomato chutney homemade, but it had like a bit of like a mango-y chutney kind of yeah. feeling with it. So it was really nice, the chips. Chips at the Three Pilchards are always oh, yeah. the best and chips. And they were just so attentive. I've never and seen friendly and a just... pub, and this is no word of a lie that was the best establishment i've been in in terms of covid covid security security they had all the walkie, walkie talkies, talkies the, the system they had because there's only one way up and down to get to the the place outside of the restaurant let you go until they had the walkie talkie with two people coming down is it okay no you've got a yeah. way and they had friendly service they were attentive they yeah. were friendly they talked just, to you like they knew yeah, you yeah they were just everything about it was perfect and then we got. We also gave them a tip as well because because of how awesome they were, and then we decided to we got grab a t-shirt, some merch. Because we go there every time we're down here. Yeah. It's, it's like you're part of the family. Five. Five stars. Out of five. Yeah, five out of five. Six out of five. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I give it more if I could, but we've got to stick to our system. I can't fault that. So yeah, I think now we're just gonna have a wander around and yeah, let the lights go out because it's meant to be quite nice when it's dark. So yeah, we'll, they got all lights. The lights go out. Light stuff. So we're just gonna have a more of a match. Mm.
As you could tell, we have had a very long but really nice day. It so, is shut eye time. So we're gonna sign off and have our last night in this oh. bed before we head home. I miss Kitty. You miss Kitty. Yeah, I miss Kitty. I can't wait to see Kitty. Night night. <sighs>
I would give five out of five because it was full to the brim with steak and it was done medium. It wasn't like chewy steak. It was really, really good. This is the end. This is the end. My only friend. Hold your breath and count to ten. What the hell are you doing? I hope you guys have enjoyed yeah. our little bit of rambling around Cornwall. If you stay through the whole sections, we really appreciate it. This is the new normal kind of holiday, which is mm. a bit scary. Yeah, really. there were things that didn't go to plan because yeah. of, and it, they were all down to because of COVID. It's just booking of tables and being safe away from people and all that kind of yeah. stuff and anti-backing constantly and all that kind of shit masks all that kind of stuff so it was it was a new experience but still it's nice to have some time away just to relax and chill out be by the seaside and because i've got a feeling we might lock down again not not fully but it's getting that way but i hope that you've seen that you can have a little bit of time away yeah we do it's recommend it it's just that we we didn't realize it was going to be the we, way it has been yeah we just say just plan more stringently than you would normally get all your tables really get booked. everything booked and sorted and everything have it as regimented as you possibly can we have had fun we have had fun and we're hoping obviously it won't be more content like this because you know holidays are expensive if we don't lock down we're Hoping that we can have a few more exciting videos like this. Yeah, I hope so. We'll just have to see. Bear with us. So like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. See you in the next one. Take care, guys.